One of the things that's really exciting about CAR T-cell therapy is that that it might not just be autologous CARs, but allogeneic CAR T-cell therapy. Now, the benefits of allogeneic CAR T would be that it's off the shelf. You don't have to wait for apheresis. And and although that seems like a small thing, it's a huge thing because we know that it's difficult to organize apheresis and collection for patients as well as centers and for the manufacturing companies. So if we could find an allogeneic off-the-shelf solution to this, that would be great. Uh, Most recently, we saw data presented by Allogene for their 715 product. This is an allogeneic uh, CAR T cell therapy that targets BCMA. And interestingly here, because you want to avoid graft versus host disease, uh, the T cell receptor is taken out, it's engineered out. And because you want to allow for these cells to get in and do their work and not be rejected, you want to do really good lymphodepletion. In order to do that, this allogene platform requires or can use something called ALO647, which is an anti-CD52 molecule, and that can really do a good job of depleting the patient's own, the host's own T cells. And by doing that, it's a really good way to get rid of the cells they may reject these allogeneic cells. And on the flip side, for these ALO715 cells, their CD52 has also been engineered out. So now you have a product that's poised to attack BCMA, not cause graft-versus-host disease, and be sustained despite having some really good lymphodepletion. And we're excited to see more data. We did see some from ASH showing that the data was that these cells were safe and did not cause graft versus host disease. But the true understanding will be when we get to higher doses and see what the efficacy and the duration of response is going to be.